Okay guys, welcome back. Um, this is part two of our chain tutorial. If you missed part one, I suggest you go ahead and check it out. I will leave the link in the description box. Um, and in this part, we're going to learn how to animate this chain, make it look a little bit realistic in the animation subject. So for that, let's create, first of all, let's create a floor. Okay, so now we have a floor and uh, let's press play and see what happens. Nothing happens, obviously. We need to create something called um, rigid body. And this is, uh, make sure your chain is selected, go into tags, simulation tags, rigid body. Okay, now if we press play, see that something actually happens, but not very, mm, not very funny, not very interesting, nothing realistic, and actually I'm not really even sure what, what's happening. Anyway, we need to make some adjustments to this tag and the first adjustment we need to make is to change our individual elements to top level now if we pre press play we have something happening obviously this is not what we want um, this is actually uh, this difference the thing I did here was to tell uh, our object or our tag to calculate uh, each individual object as one object before that it was um, making dynamics to all of this uh, chain and now it's making uh, changes or calculating the position of every single one of them. Okay, but this is not working. It's not working because the shape of our collision is set to automatic. In this case, let's choose something like moving mesh. Okay, now let's press play. Now it kind of looks a little bit better and it still looks like a single object because there's no collision whatsoever. So let's create um, a, a simulation tag. I mean, uh, yes, a simulation tag, uh, collider body. Let's make our floor um, a collider object. And now let's press play and let's see what happens. Okay, great. This looks like um, real chains, I would say. Let's just increase our length a little bit, just to, to see a little bit more of our animation. And let's press play. And that's it. Now, if you want to change the position of your chain in the beginning, I suggest you move the path. And just don't try to move the object. You won't do any good. Because your cloner is actually positioned where your path is. So you can move your chain just by moving the path okay let's press play again okay they're falling and pretty good now you can however change a little bit of these settings over here the bounce the friction and everything that you probably already know about um, I'm going to leave it as it is I'm just going to create some kind of a holder some object that kind of grabs this chain and don't it doesn't let the chain fall into the ground you'll see what I mean so let's create a torus um, sorry about this let's create a torus okay we have our torus let's bring our object over there somewhere around here let's rotate it 90 degrees and let's make sure our position is correct Let's maybe scale this a little bit, okay, move it upwards and make sure your object doesn't overlap your cloner. Now one thing I tell my students a lot is to keep rotating around your scene, constantly doing this, uh, especially if you're making uh, modeling, if you're selecting polygons, vertex, um, points or edges or I don't know, because what tends to look good from here, it doesn't mean it's good from here. So if you're 3D, if you're um, if you're making 3D stuff, make sure you keep constantly moving around your scene. It's kind of important, you know, to to be aware that you know this is uh, important subject. Okay. Anyway, let's go into our torus and let's create another simulation tag collider body okay now if we press play it probably won't work the way we hope so or we hope to so let's just press play and 
as you can as you can see it doesn't really work we need to change some settings over here so again let's go into our shape and instead of moving mesh we're going to choose static mesh okay now let's press play and see what's happening not that bad not that bad at all uh, I do had before a small problem that actually it's not happening right here I'm kind of amazed it's running really good but anyway I'm going to show you if you have by uh, accident if you if your uh, chain kind of breaks itself or, s or some pieces get loose or separated um, there is some option over here that I actually found it randomly I was just trying to fix that problem that I don't have right here but you know you you might have um, going to mass in your chain object so your dynamics tag going to mass and just check custom center and if you have any problem with your chain bits just going around nuts or losing somewhere where they're not supposed to anyway this will probably correct your problem so that's it we have our chain and it's animated i hope you like this tutorial if you did please share subscribe like and all that good stuff and i'll see you somewhere in i don't know i hope it's not in prison cheers